Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. I'm back with another crock pot recipe. And today I'm gonna be making smothered hamburger, well, smothered steaks <laughs> in the crock pot. This is some ground brisket. You can certainly use regular ground beef, but I'm using ground brisket for this today. It's really, really easy. Not a lot of work involved. To season the meat, I'm gonna use some um, Watch Yo Sista sauce or whatever you call it. Just a little splash. Some steak sauce. Probably about a tablespoon. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. And this seasoning is called Spike Seasoning. Uh, my friend Patty sent this to me. It is really, really good. I've used it on all kinds of things. I will link it in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. It is wonderful. It's, it has like such a great umami factor. It's, I don't even know how to, how to describe it other than I just made my mouth water smelling it. So <laughs> that's how you know it's good. It's literally got everything, everything you could think of in it. It's, it's the bomb, so thank you again, Patty. All right, now for the now for the not nice part. Gotta get in there and mix it up. So now I'm just gonna take these and make some oval shaped patties. You can make them round if you want. You do you, do whatever you wanna do. <laughs> so it's kind of like Salisbury steak, but not really. Um, I have a totally different recipe for Salisbury steak in the crock pot. love crock pot cooking. Um, I know crock pots get like a bad rap. <laughs> they really do. Um, but I love it because like today I have a lot going on. I've got a lot of stuff to do and you know, it'll just take me a couple minutes to throw all of this together and then I don't have to worry about it and I can go on about my day, get all kinds of stuff done and Dinner will be ready, right? So with this, we're having some of the roasted honey nut squash and some fried green tomatoes. All right, so the patties are in. Now I'm gonna slice up some onions. Okay, so I chopped up two onions. They're a pretty decent size. I'm just going to throw them in the crock pot. Use however many onions you want. We like onions. Got some dehydrated mushrooms. Use fresh if you want. Those 
onions are strong, you guys. Holy Moses. This is just some um, beef, dry beef soup base. Uh, add that to my jar, fill it with water. Ooh. Onions are so strong. Stir it up. Pour it on in. You want to kind of push those mushrooms down into that juice. Lid on high for six hours, and I'll see you later. All right, so dinner is just about ready to get thrown together. I'm gonna thicken, pour a little thickening into here so it can have some gravy, cause we like the gravy, baby. I'm using clear gel. It's just a modified cornstarch. Use whatever you wanna use. So I'm going to pour a couple, ta or put a couple tablespoons into a coffee mug and add some cold water. Just making a little slurry. nut squash is done all I have left to do is do the fried green tomatoes um, my daughter wants to help me do that and yes there will be a video because we are doing it with uh, um, green tomatoes that I canned up for frying so look forward to that video all right this is just gonna go in you want to make sure that you're stirring while you're adding this because you don't want it to clump up and it will thicken fairly quickly. Oh yeah. And so I'm going to turn this off and put the lid back on it and that will finish thickening up by the time the fried green tomatoes are done. And I will show you what the finished plate looks like. All right, guys, here we go. We got the smothered uh, hamburger steaks, honey nut squash, fried green tomatoes. Look for that video coming out soon. Those are with my canned fried green tomatoes. And that's dinner. Uh, yeah, no taste test from April tonight because my kitchen is a hot ass mess. I've had stuff going on all day. So there it is. There's the finished product. And I hope you enjoyed yet another crock pot meal. Until next time, guys, from my kitchen to yours, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.